Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thanks again for checking out my videos. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video on how to get this Nuka-Cola Power Armor skin. And it's a very easy quest to do. This shouldn't take you longer than like 10 or 15 minutes max. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first place you're gonna to wanna to come to is Pylon V13 and it's just over here in the Cranberry. Now make sure when you do come over here, you do know that there are some enemies. There's a behemoth and some super mutants to the left there. There's some anglers here, possibly some gulpers. It depends. Fog crawlers can spawn here. But you're just going to want to come over here and this is what you're looking for. You're going to want to look for this uh, skeleton over here. And there's a green duffel bag beside it. I just wanted to show my surroundings there so you can easily find it. And then you're just going to want to pick up that toolbox key. After you do that, you can come over to Watoga Shopping Center here, which is just south of the pylon. And then you're just going to come over here and maybe look for this bus. It's kind of on the outskirts a bit when you spawn. It's not hard to find. And yeah, you're just going to come over here and then the next piece to the puzzle is over here. You may have a couple of robots to fight as I did here, but they're pretty laid back compared to what you will see in the first area you went to. So if you didn't have a problem there, I don't see you having a problem here. And yet you're just going to make your way over here to the edge of the creek or whatever you want to call it. And just inside of this toolbox here is Clara's key to Clara's box. Yeah, I wasn't sure what it was there, so had to wait a second there. But that's what you're looking for. So the next place we're going to is Sutton. And it's actually just north of Sutton. I wanted to show exactly where I am on the map here because this can be a little tricky to find. But it's just behind some houses and you're looking for a dog house. And it has a yellow crate and a note in it. Keep in mind, I, well, I don't know if this just happened to me, but I couldn't open the box without opening the note. So make sure you read the note first, and then you'll be able to open Clara's box. And then you're just going to grab that locker key. Keep in mind, a mole rat does spawn after you grab the key. I'm pretty sure it does. That could have been random, but just in case, keep an eye out. Next place we're going to go to after we get that Nuka-Cola locker key is going to head over to the Nuka-Cola plant, surprisingly. And yeah, I just wanted to show how to get into the entrance here. It can be a little hard to find. I really feel like they could make the entrance a little bit easier to find or put you a little bit closer to it. But hey, you know, that's the magic of Fallout 76. So just wanted to make sure that you knew where to go here. I didn't want to just say, hey, come over to the Nuka-Cola plant because I've watched videos on YouTube where I've had to come here and it's just not easy to find this door when you're first coming over here. That's my opinion. Maybe you found it very easy, but me, honestly, it, it was a little bit frustrating finding this entrance. So yeah, you're just going to come over here. There's going to be some ghouls to fight. And yeah, even more laid back than the robots. And then there's a turret here by the door. And then you just go into the door. And you are in the Nuka-Cola plant. And then you can just follow the route that I go here. And we're going to go up some stairs over here. Don't fall off like I did. There's a little, you know, break in the railing there. You know, if there's a way to fall off, I'll find it. <laughs> but anyway, you're just going to want to come up to the room over here. And keep in mind, you will have to have a level one lock pick. So if you just put on Master Infiltrator, you'll be able to open this with a bobby pin level one. Or you'll have to buy a uh, pick lock perk under perception to open the door. Just one though. And there's some neat stuff in here. Actually, there's a Nuka-Cola Cranberry in here, which I find really useful. Maybe you find Nuka-Cola Quantums useful. There's a couple of those in here. But after, you know, you do a bit of looting, you're just going to want to come to this back room here. And you're going to look for a locker on the floor. Once you find the locker, just unlock it by using the Nuka-Cola key. And then you're going to have Dome Key 3. And then you're almost done here. This is probably the hardest part of this. So you're just going to want to come over here. And it's just to the right there of the Black Mountain Disposal, I think it's called there. And just keep in mind that there are more than a couple of bunkers around here. So make sure you're going to the right one. That's why I wanted to show exactly where I was here. And this is the bunker you're going to come to. It's the, it's the furthest one up the hill. And you're going to open the door and the Nuka-Cola uh, plan should be here. And if it's not, all you have to do is go back to main menu and find another world and keep trying. I actually had to try three times before I found it, but it only took me maybe an extra five or ten minutes maximum. But if you are doing this, I really hope that you just find it on your first try. But I just wanted to show, don't be alarmed if it's not there. All your work isn't for nothing. Just hop servers and you'll be able to come right back over here and open the door again. You will not have to do all of that stuff over again. 
and you just open the door and hope that it's here. This was my second attempt and it wasn't here. And like I said, it was actually on the third attempt that I came over here in a different world. So it was the third world I went to. And then I came over here and as you can see, the Nuka-Cola um, power armor plan was here. And it's as simple as that. Now you're able to craft the Nuka-Cola power armor. Which is a T-55 I wanted to point out as well. Unfortunately, you can only put this skin on a T-51, which is not the greatest power armor, I will admit. But if you display power armors, this is definitely a must quest for you, or you do plan on displaying some power armors. This is definitely one you'll want to display. There's actually another video that I did on finding a Nuka-Cola Quantum Paint for the X-01. I will link in the description if this video was fun for you. That one is a little bit tougher, but it's along the same line of steps, and it's just as fun. Like I, I don't know what everyone else's opinion is but i find doing stuff like this fun it's almost like a mini scavenger hunt and it's a little bit different than doing some fetch quests or events in the game so yeah if you want to do that other quest i'll link that in the description and then you can just you know <laughs> build a t51 or find the t51 power armor parts whatever you got to do and then you can add the paint to it and then you have your t51 nuka cola power armor simple as that everybody i really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching have a great day